We are here in Mumbai for Max Elite Model Look India 2016. This is the last round of auditions in Mumbai. We are looking for India's next top international model. We have already had auditions in Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, Chandigarh, New Delhi, Mizoram and Guwahati. With me, judging the finalists today, starting on my left is the Dipti Sharma. She won Elite Model Look India 2015. She represented India in Milan in 2015. Next to me is Elena Fernandez. She was with Elite in New York. She's an actor and a supermodel. And on my right, you all know Diane De Suarez, supermodel and a reality show TV star. All right? So we are here judging the top finalists who will come on the 3rd of October to be judged by judges coming in from Milan and Paris. And from there, we will pick eight boys and eight girls who will get trained for 10 days and the winner will represent India in Portugal on the 23rd of November where they will compete with 50 other countries. Uh, I wish we had these kind of opportunities when you know, we were in the running to enter the industry because uh, I feel like you need to have good representation abroad uh, to get into that market. So this is obviously great for the young talent of this country and uh, India is more in demand, so, you know, I mean, everyone should actually make good of the opportunity that they have in front of them. So, yeah, it's a great platform. The two, two and a half, three thousand applications, out of which we've shortlisted about uh, 50 boys across India and 50 girls. They'll all be coming to Mumbai on the 3rd of October, where we will further select eight boys and eight girls who will be trained for 10 days in a boot camp. No, this competition is only designed for people who want to model. There are a lot of boys and girls in India today who want to use modeling as a platform, as a career. It has no connection whatsoever with Tinseltown. There are a lot of boys and girls who only want to model because they are different looking. Their features are different. They have different structures. They have very good jaw lines, good height. They are packaged well. Maybe not for Tinseltown. So a lot of boys and girls in smaller towns, they want to take part and only want to make a career in modelling. The winner who, go, who goes on in Portugal and who wins and gets placed in the top 10, they automatically get 200,000 euros, that's a lot of money. And they get a contract with the lead in Paris. I think like any other country, India has an amazing chance, an amazing opportunity. We found some incredible talent. So they definitely have like a great chance of winning on an international level as well. Dipti can talk to you about her experience last year in Milan. I've been saying that she represented India in Milan. So, how was her experience there? If you want, you can ask her. And what was the competition there? Mainly, Indian models. Because there are so many good models there. So, I think that's what attracted me to India. Because you have such a great platform for all the girls and boys in India to showcase their talent. And in Milan, it's like really a 360 degree turnaround. And what I have to You have um, to be different. Yeah. yeah. I think um, what actually, you know, I mean, uh, what India needs is uh, a, an understanding that there is an height requirement. Uh, there are lots of uh, pretty girls and good looking boys or unconventional girls and boys, but unfortunately, they're wasting their time coming into um, a full fledged um, model contest when there is a certain requirement of height. I think that everyone needs to you know keep in mind but aside of that i mean just i think embrace your unconventional you know unconventional looks um, embrace your individuality yeah basically. and you know have a certain kind of personality basically i think that people just try to ape either models who are in industry mein ya hai industry mein so i think you have to have a certain personality of your own that stands apart and that will set you apart here as well as internationally 
that's what what mostly require international competition ke hisab se the models out here they need to be packaged right bahar ka jo wo emphasis hai it's more on youth and height the younger the person the better it is internationally when they compete boys and girls out there they are 14 years old yeah yeah 14 to 21 22 राइट नाउ वी आर स्लोली गेटिंग गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज इन इंडिया हुआ सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन तो ये एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है दे इज़ अ ग्रोइंग अवेयरनेस दैट इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू मॉडल इन इंडिया एंड कम्पीट इंटरनेशनली मैक्स लीट मॉडल लुक इज़ अ बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स अ सेफ प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स अ क्रेडिकल इट्स अ क्रेडिबल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड यू इफ यू विन यू ऑटोमेटिकली गेट इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर एंड प्लेसमेंट इफ यू विन यू हैव नो चॉइस बट टू गो एंड स्टार्ट वर्किंग स्टेट अवे इन मिलान एंड इन पैरिस इन न्यूयॉर्क इन लंडन so today you can be a struggling newcomer in india 17 18 after one month you can be walking on the runway for louis vuitton valentino dolce gabbana mark jacob zunos <laughs> let's stick to the questions i mean related to the event um so yeah i mean really no comments on that नहीं हो गया अब काफी देख लिया ना तीन महीने के लिए अभी ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग गाइस थैंक यू वेरी मच हैंग ऑन वी गोइंग टू कॉल द गर्ल्स आउट नाउ ओके एंड देन एट द एंड वी डू अ ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ्स ऑफ द शॉर्टलिस्टेड बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स